paradoxically, sometimes sick people were well taken care of. I mean, one of the oddities of the gulag system was, you know, as they would have the, the, the system itself effectively starved people. And then once you became so ill, you could no longer work. You were sometimes put in a hospital where you would be nursed back to health by a prisoner doctor who was interested in seeing you get better. I mean, it varied a great deal from camp to camp. Um, some camps had really no doctors, or they had people who pretended to be doctors because it was an easy job and had actually no qualifications. Um, some camps had actually rather good hospitals with, you know, the best specialists from Moscow um, who were also had been arrested and who were working in the camps. Um, but the, the, many, many of the prisoners who were saved write of having been saved by doctors. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a constantly recurring theme in, in Gulag literature. So it clearly was, you, you, you clearly could be saved by, by being allowed to go to hospital. There's some famous stories. There was a prisoner who digested or ate or breathed in some kind of uh, metal so that his lungs would have, appear to have spots on them so that he would be diagnosed as having tuberculosis. Um, people invented, people would pretend to be insane and they would pretend to be paralyzed and they would pretend all kinds of things. I mean, it, it was often very common in a lot of camps, being sick was a kind of privilege. You know, you could, you know, people would rotate, you know, the, 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 the camp commanders would effectively turn a blind eye and prisoners would be allowed to be sick for a few days and then um, be sent back again, which was of course worked badly for people who were really sick because the hospitals would always have a limit, you know, how many prisoners they were allowed to take in. Um, but yes, being, being ill, whether you were really ill or whether you were feigning illness, was a way of surviving.